Well, well, well. Welcome back to New York Sports Wicker Media. I'm watching K99. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to watch these videos. To say that this Sunday's game in New England is a must-win for the New York Jets would be a bit of an understatement. Then again, you talk to a lot of Jets fans, and they wouldn't call it a must-win. It would be a what-the-hell-does-it-matter kind of game. But if the Jets want any hope, wish, prayer of having the rest of the season being any kind of level of relevant, it starts with a win this Sunday afternoon in Foxborough. So for this game, we're going to make our five bowl predictions just like we always do. And my first prediction is New England will get at least 300 yards of offense. They have done that only once all year. They're averaging 262 yards per game. There's a couple of things that I think are going to uh, be challenging for the Jets. Number one, I think Antonio Gibson is going to get a lot more time than Ramondre Stevenson uh, in the running game. Stevenson has had a fumbling issue. He's been hurt as of late. I don't think he's going to get much playing time if he even does. Gibson, I think, is going to be a bit of a problem. And I'm sorry, until the Jets show the ability to stop the run, it's hard to believe that they're going to do it. You know, I can hear all week long about a great week of practice, about we're frustrated that this is happening. Until the results come, I really don't care what they say anymore. And I think they're, the Patriots are going to go towards both Hunter Henry and Pops Douglas. Demario Douglas was never, ever targeted in that first game against the Jets earlier this year. I think he is their most explosive playmaker. I'm counting on a few shots in his direction. Number two, I predict the Jets will turn New England over on multiple occasions. Now, in three of their six games this year, New England has not given the ball away, and I don't think the Jets have uh, created a turnover in, in their last two games at this point. Uh, but I do think they will be able to do enough to force Drake May or whoever into mistakes, and I think they will get multiple turnovers in this game. Having your full slate of quarterbacks back, I think, does help that opportunity. Number three, okay, this one's going to be pretty bold. The Jets will have five penalties or less. We've talked about this uh, during this week. The Jets have the most penalty yards of any team in the NFL, and they've got the fourth most penalties this year out of all 32 teams. I think they have at least one week where they do, uh, they do it much better. I'm going to say five penalties or less. Let's see what happens. Number four, I'm going to say Braylon Allen scores a touchdown and has at least 65 yards on the ground. It's no doubt that the Jets run blocking has been very, very poor this week, uh, this season. Brees Hall frequently getting hit behind the line of scrimmage. He's, he doesn't even have a chance to make an impact. At least when Braylon Allen gets his opportunities, he can at least push the pile. He could fall forward, get some more yards for you. Now, his snaps, his snaps have gone down quite a bit uh, over the last two weeks. He only had five snaps last week. That's one reason why I think this is a bold pick. I like the idea of a power running game going up the middle against a very shakily New England run defense. And number five, I'm going to predict there will be a touchdown in this game not scored by an offense, whether it's defense or whether it's special teams. I'm going to say it's sort of a gut feeling on this one that something goofy is going to happen. And there will be, hey, maybe a pick six, maybe a fumble recovery, punt return, kick return, whatever it may be. But I'm going to say a non offensive touchdown in this game. As far as the final score goes, I've seen a few people picking the Patriots and their mantra is, let me see the Jets actually show up. Well, you know what? New England, they don't have a whole lot going, going for them either. Not only do they stink, they are in a horrible place mentally. Their head coach is calling out the team as soft. For me, right, the Jets just have too much talent. I, I know. What, what does talent do? What has talent done for the Jets over the last couple of weeks? You can tell me that if you want. But I think this is a bit of a get-right game for the Jets. I don't think it is a total blowout, but I will. I think the Jets' defense will be in that sort of bend-not-break mode. They might hold New England to a couple of field goals, but I think the Jets will be able to put the ball in the end zone a couple of times in this game. I'm going to say Jets 24, Patriots 16, and the Jets give us a little tease, just a little tease before the Thursday night game in Houston. Then if they win that one, then we can talk about having a season again. All right, guys, those are my pro predictions. If you've got some, put them right down there in the comments. And also check out the channel, the Jets Patriots. The full preview video is coming up very, very soon if it's not out already. Everybody have a great rest of your day, and I will see you right back here with more content from you know where. The Wicker Chair.